It is a power-hungry industry. According to a new report from the California Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, the cannabis industry could reduce the demand for electricity from other industries. Here to tell us more, Tom Reddick. He is the senior technical executive for the Electric Power Research Institute. He's also the former program director at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Tom Reddick, thank you very much for being with us. Tell us about this new report about a power-hungry industry. This is cannabis, and it could cause some big problems. Well, thanks for the opportunity today to chat with you just a bit. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, kind of kick off our thoughts a little bit around this uh, issue of what we label as indoor agriculture here at the uh, Electric Power Research Institute. Uh, indoor agriculture is uh, spawning immense interest, as you have uh, stated with these uh, numbers, and certainly the uh, the cannabis industry is at the at the forefront of that. Uh, one of the comments I'd like to say is that we're really in a what we would refer to as a startup period with this industry, and it is not uncommon in startup industries that uh, the focus of that business perhaps is not on the wisest use of energy, but more on creating a best product. So. What we do have is a situation where some technology is being used in this business that are not perhaps the best choices. And one of our uh, projects here at the Institute really is to focus on this area of indoor agriculture and understand how do we bring together three communities, the utility industry, the uh, farming community, and technology. So what we do is have a best situation. Well, Tom, as I mentioned, I mean, this is a three and a half billion dollar estimated industry. Twenty three states right now have some form of legalized marijuana. Can you give us an idea of the electricity demand from this particular business? The uh, uh, presently the much of the technology that's being used, uh, a lot of the energy really goes into lighting because with indoor technology, what we're doing is uh, uh, we're switching away from the, the classic sunshine, if you wish, to, to using some form of electric lighting in order to make this happen. And uh, it's probably fair to say the technology that's being ported over is uh, is a lot of uh, what we would refer to as very inefficient lighting. Uh, it would be classic uh, HID technology or uh, high-pressure sodium technology. What we see is that LED technology could potentially reduce the amount of electricity used in the process, perhaps as much as 60 or 70 percent. So this is where the opportunity rests. It's and conceptually, it's good energy practice not good. And I might just add that why would people be using this inefficient uh, lighting technology? Foremost, it's a low capital entry into a new business. So what you basically what's happening here is uh, technologies are being chosen that allow easy entry into the market and then transferring the cost into what one might refer to as rather sloppy practices 